looking at has lost its transponder. Modern commercial aircraft are equipped with transponders. Like small radio stations, they broadcast information on the plane's altitude and flight number. This information is received by computers on the ground and instantly displayed on the screens of air traffic controllers. In Brasilia, if the transponder fails, so-called primary radar takes over automatically. Signals are sent out from the ground that hit the target and return. Those readings are wildly inaccurate. The inaccuracy of the radar tracking the legacy jet explains why its altitude appeared to be rising and falling. Investigators discover that the transponder wasn't sending out signals for more than 50 minutes before the crash. But controllers didn't notify the pilots. That may be because they didn't notice the subtle change. The way in which the information is displayed to the controller does not visually alert him to the change. There are no flashing lights that would tell the controller that the plane has lost its transponder. There's an even more critical role played by the transponder. It doesn't just beam information to controllers on the ground, but to other planes as well. All commercial aircraft are equipped with a warning system called TCAS, the Traffic Collision Avoidance System. TCAS gives a relative position of other airplanes within range of your own airplane. TCAS picks up a signal from an oncoming plane's transponder and issues a warning if it's too close. If either plane's transponder is off, the system won't work. Ferrera discovers that the legacy's transponder